All right, guys, so I'm back with another video, and in this one, we're going to be doing the glass panels inside the Broken Down Castle. Now, in my previous video, I already showed you two traceable Easter eggs and how to complete all four hedge mazes in the last video. Now, in this one, I'm going to show you how to complete all four of these, as well as find two recordings and five traceable Easter eggs. So now for the sake of this video i'm going to stay up here for a little bit and i'm going to go down there for a little bit now for this first one is very simple all you're doing is traversing it and this is the path you're going to take now the reason why this is the path you're going to take is because you need to avoid this column i originally went up straight and did it this way and then i found out i couldn't do it because any type of barrier that you get in the way will not work like for instance this little thing that's sticking out on the ledge that i'm on right now you see that if i put it in the middle of the path i will not be able to complete this traceable easter egg See, it will not let me go anywhere. It recognizes anything that goes over it, shadows, objects, debris, anything. So you need to make sure that you're out of the way clear and you and you drew the right path so you can literally go through this entire thing. And then boom, that, that's the first traceable Easter egg. And of course, you know you're done when it starts blinking so you can hit the X button. Now, for these next ones, these are not gonna be the right ways that you're gonna do it the first time. These are all different. Now, the reason for that being is you cannot get the traceable paths correct until you complete all four of these puzzles and then open the door that's downstairs, which I'll show you which door I'm talking about. So yes, you cannot do these traceable Easter eggs until you complete all puzzles first. So the paths that I have dr drawn now are for the actual traceable Easter eggs. So I'm going to go down there right now and show you exactly what I mean. Okay. So for the first puzzle, like I said, you're literally just traversing that. And after you traverse that, you're gonna move on to the purple puzzle, okay? Now, this is the door that I was talking about. After you complete all of them and come through the last puzzle right here, you'll be able to open this door, very simple, just with a little, a little swipe, okay? Now, oh yeah, and there's a recording right here if you want that. Now, after you come through this one and get to the purple one, this is separating white from black dots again, just like you have in other puzzles. Well, I hope you've, if you've been this far, most likely you've done those type of puzzles. But you basically need to separate white dots from black dots, etc. Okay, now this path that I draw now, the only way to do this for the traceable Easter egg is that you have to do this path right here. And when you get over here to this debris, you cannot do any more. You have to backtrack. Now, take in mind, this is also debris. When you do the traceable Easter egg, this ink counts as debris and you will not be able to pass it. So that's why you can't use that as well. Now you're gonna go backtrack on yourself and run all the way around. And when you run all the way around, you will come out, but you're gonna be coming over here. Then you're gonna step on here and follow this path only. And you're gonna connect the line together. And when you do that, there you go. You will be able to complete that traceable Easter egg as well now. And okay, now there's a recording behind this trash man too, if you wanna pick that up. Um, for this one, this was the most difficult. This took a while to figure out. Now, the reason is, when you originally step on this for the first time you go around these puzzles, you are going to activate this panel automatically because you have to step on this. There's no way to get around it. So you're going to complete this, this maze completely different the first time around. But when you get to this point I am now to do the traceable Easter egg, this is how you do it. You're going to step on this panel. Then you're going to step forward on this wooden plank. You will turn around, click on that, and reset your puzzle. Okay, I'm not going to do it, but you're going to reset your puzzle. That will take away from the first plank that you stepped on. Now you will step over here to the left, and then you will go back to, over here to the beginning. So now you're going to have these couple panels lit up. Now you're going to follow this path that I have drawn. You're going to go like this over here, and you're going to come straight to this debris. Okay, now what do I do? Do I wrap back around? You can, but you don't need to. You can literally just go and use any of these wooden planks, step over here and step onto this, making sure you don't hit any of those two in between, and then go and connect these paths. Now, when you connect these paths, boom, there you go. Now you will be able to do the traceable Easter egg without ever having to hit any debris. Okay, that one took a while, like I'm not gonna lie. That was insane, because I never originally thought about turning around and resetting it. So anyways, for this one, you have to do it two different ways. So after you go through this the first time, it doesn't matter how you do it, okay? Go through it the first time and do it the way you want. Now, for the trace, to do this for the traceable Easter egg, you will follow this path right here. You will draw the L shape like this, 
and then go over here and go to the endpoint. Now, just so you know, on this puzzle, it mirrors the image. So whatever, if you start over here, anything that you draw mirrors itself exactly on this side. So you're drawing two, you're, you're literally lighting up two lines at the same time, one on opposite sides of each other, because you're, you're doing a mirror image, it automatically does that. So after you do that, you will be able to go up to the tower and you will be able to trace this one right here. Okay, you will be able to trace this one. Now, this one you will not be able to, I mean, I'm sorry about that. You will be able to trace this one, okay, because there's no debris in the way. This one, however, you cannot trace, okay? And the reason why you cannot trace it is because you have a bridge right here that you cannot go under for the traceable. So now you need to reset it and do it a different way. Now, I'm not gonna do it, I can do it right now if you want, but there's no point. Literally, it's the easiest thing in the world. You're just drawing an L. You're going over here, going up, coming up this, drawing an L, and then going to the end, okay? So you're just gonna draw the L shape, and then it will mirror itself on the other side, and then you will be able to trace this one. So that is exactly how you do all of the traceable Easter eggs. Now I will go up top and show you exactly how that worked out. So, um, like, and remember, keep in mind, when you go through the first four puzzles, you will not be able to do the traceable Easter eggs. You have to complete them in completely different ways. So now that you have that done, you will be able to finish all of these. Boom, this one, Okay, you'll be able to go under that debris, come out and finish it. And then, like I said, you will be able to do this one first. Okay. And then this one, see how I can't do it because of the bridge? You will just draw this in a different way. You will start here. You will go out, go up, go like this, go down, go like that. And now you have an L shape. You come up and end it. Now you'll have L shape, which you'll go like this. And you'll just follow the path like that. And you'll be able to do the traceable Easter egg. So yeah, guys, that one took me a long time to figure out. It was very hard to retrace your path, especially since this one, you had to go up halfway, wrap back around the entire map, come over here and finish it. And you have to remember exactly where you had to step as well. This one, you had to come out, step on the wooden plank, reset it, go halfway, follow back on yourself, go over the wooden plank, and then complete it. And then this one, you have to do two different times. So yeah, and now if you watch my previous video, you will know that there's also two traceables on this side, which means that there are seven total. So if you haven't seen that, go watch my other video. Um, and if you guys like this, please leave some comments, drop a like, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.